What is up YouTube? I'm back on again with another DIY Tessa power update video. Now today, um, it's slightly different. We are actually outside of the shed. So as you guys can see, I have eight panels um, laying against the shed, not really in direct sunlight, but it actually is getting like voltage and amperage. And then we have 16 panels on the top of the roof. So those um, were recently installed, probably a couple of months ago. Um, I did it myself. And basically what we did was we ordered in um, solar panel racking. So here's a bit of a better view. So you can see um, we have racks which go along all of them. And then we have, and then we just have normal, um, pretty much pieces of steel with holes through them. Um, bolting all these down. Now still going to put the front um, harness, like harness hold down things on. Um, but I haven't done those yet so. Um, that's that and that cord runs down to these. So the power from the solar panels comes from obviously up there um, through a wire. Um, it's not a super thick wire but we are running out of high voltage um, so the amperage isn't too much. Um, it's definitely something I'm going to be looking into in the future. Um, I'm going to do a lot of um, rewiring and all that kind of stuff so um, you guys will just have to stay tuned for that. Um, so that comes down into the PV master isolator and that comes along. Follows along and through that into the conduit which goes into the solar charge controller so right now we are charging at um, from the solar panels we're getting 8.4 amps and I'm charging at 20 amps so the battery is actually pretty much full on the inverter I uh, just kicked in don't worry about the wires it's still in the testing phase of you know, how everything's working um, as you can see um, Still got a lot of cells to test. Um, the packs are already um, wires everywhere. I'm going to like sensors and stuff. Um, but pretty much um, right now, I'm just you know testing it out, seeing how it works. I've only recently got it online about a week ago. Um, we haven't had too much issues. Um, you guys, you can see the wires are pretty thin, but th that's fine for now. I'm not doing any heavy loads. It's mainly just testing, making sure this is the solar charge control is charging it good. These are the cells I still need to make. I uh, haven't got the cell holders in yet, so they're all pretty wobbly and uh, not too good for actually making packs out of, of this size. So I'll use them for smaller stuff, as I've already said in the last video. But, um, you know, looking at everything, that cord there goes to the house. This runs down here out the door, um, all the way to the house. Um, back to the solar panels. Um, I got a bit of blue metal there, so it has a bit of you know place for them to sit. And you can see it all there. Pretty much not really in sunlight at all, but that's fine. Um, it's still giving us something, and then mainly the 16 on the top will be from the main like energy generator. So yeah, um, there wasn't too much structure to this video, but I just wanted to show you guys uh, the solar panels are definitely up now. Um, obviously the ones on the side of the roof aren't too um, well done, but they're, they're there, they're making power. Um, and later we'll look at mounting them maybe on the water tank. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for this update. Um, sorry about the lack of updates recently. I'm trying to, you know, start, I'm trying to you know, get back into it. You guys may notice the camera quality may have improved as well. I'm recording on an iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. Um, I can only record in 1080p because um, the touchscreen's a bit weird and doesn't let me select the um, different quality setting, but I'm going to be getting a new screen for that. Um, so definitely stay tuned for high quality videos in the future. But as of now, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.